Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. Today, I'm going to be giving you an early look at the 2020 Ford Super Duty by Northwest Mods and Edits, and also taking a look at all the other mods that they've already released, as I found not very many people are aware of this amazing modder. The Super Duty is going to come with both F350 and F450 variations. There are a total of five color options available. Tire options include both a street tire as well as an off-road tire, with the F350 being able to choose between single or dual rear tires. Mud flaps can be added for the front, rear, or both in all tire configurations. There are a number of different bed options, including a functioning diesel tank and two different styles of toolboxes. You are able to configure the truck to add both a fifth wheel hitch for a gooseneck trailer, as well as a standard rear trailer hitch. The tailgate can be lowered to provide easy access to the fifth wheel, or generally just to use the bed of the truck. The rear hitch is adjustable so that you can match up better with whatever trailer you want to pull. Additional features include two different styles of headache racks, and options to add lighting to both the rack and the rear bumper. You're also able to choose between US and Canada license plates. The truck also has very nice startup animations and sounds. including a very detailed interior. And one of my favorite features, mirrors that can be adjusted and are actually set up in a way to be useful if you're the kind of person who likes to play in first person. When driving, the RPM and speedometer function correctly. If we go to an exterior view, you can see that the step bar and mirrors are also animated and pulled as you start to stop the vehicle. Northwest Mods and Edits is still working on adding dirt and wear, as well as working on implementing dynamic suspension. He plans to release once these features are done, hopefully before FS22, so make sure to head over to his Facebook page, which I've linked in the description of this video to follow along with his progress. And be sure to check out some of his other mods, which include a lot of things that you've seen in this video. The map I'm using today is Dubois Farm. I showed this map off in another video, which I'll also provide a link to. He's also edited the PJ Field Supply Trailer, to add support for hoses through the manure system, and created these awesome placeable fertilizer tanks, which are available on the in-game mod hub as both normal fertilizer tanks that will work for all platforms, as well as a version that contains support for the manure system. Additionally, the fuel tanks you see here are also available on the in-game mod hub for all platforms. Last, but certainly not least, is this awesome unload auger for use with standalone bins. Many of us have been stuck using the same brand unload auger for so long, it's nice to have some variety, and this auger is well done with great animations and sound effects. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by hitting that like button, and make sure to head over to Northwest Mods and Edits and show him some support as well. He certainly deserves it for all of his hard work. That's all for today. Kedrick, out.